Hey filmmakers, this is Kerry with Filmmaker Central. And today, exciting news from Audacity. They have a new version 2.4.0, which is packed with features and over 100 bug fixes. So let's dig into it when we come right back. All right, this. I mean, if you don't know what Audacity is, it's an audio recorder for Mac, Windows, and Linux. And not just a recorder, it's a whole uh, DAW, basically. I mean, it's a complete audio studio. It's open source, which means it's free, and it is packed with features. And 2.4.0 is a big, big improvement. Not, maybe not a big improvement, but it has a lot of new features. One of the most important is that it now works with Mac OS Catalina, where before you had to do this weird hack with Terminal to get it to record. Now it all works, and that's really big. There are some new changes to the time bar, which uh, give you uh, more of a time code type look. Not really exciting for me. A multi-view that um, shows a spectrogram and waveform displays of the same audio simultaneously. That's kind of cool for some users that would need that. Uh, you can now output to Opus, um, something I've never needed to do, but some people like that. There's some new behaviors with uh, how things are resized and moving to make them a little more efficient, a little more intuitive. Spectrograms now show clip boundaries. That's kind of nice, I like that. And uh, you can now scrub using the keyboard using I to scrub forward and U to scrub backwards. So that's kind of neat. Uh, changes to the play record head pinning. It, um, uh, see, it goes from its default unpinned position to a pinned position on the timeline has been changed. It's done to prevent users accidentally turning on pin head and then not knowing how to revert it back. So I think I got stuck with that a couple times and uh, didn't really know what to do. Uh, a big one is loudness normalization. And loudness is becoming a big deal when you're outputting for um, like Netflix, Hulu, all these things where you, you, you need the loudness to be normalized. And so there is a new effect called loudness normalization. As the name is, um, suggests, it normalizes for loudness. And there's loudness units. If you're not familiar with that, you might want to read up on that. There, uh, the audacity of one is based on the EBU R128 recommendations on limiting loudness of audio levels. There's a whole technical thing on that, but this is something that I do on most of my videos to make sure that all my audio clips are the same and that when I throw music in, it doesn't become overwhelming. I try and normalize everything to the same loudness so that you, know, you don't blow out someone's speakers when something comes on. Uh, there's a measurement tool for root mean square. I don't even know what that means, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, noise gate. Uh, this is another new one, which is used to reduce the level of sound below a threshold. So uh, basically a noise gate is a kind of a dynamic processor. I'll just read it from here. It allows the audio above a specific threshold level to pass through unaffected, which is the gate being open and stops or reduces sounds below the threshold, which is the gate closed. So noise gates can be used to cut the level of residual noise between sections of a recording. So this can be handy if you have like a, a, a base noise level that's, that's very low and you just need to kill it and you only want the stuff that's above a, a, a certain threshold. So there's some cool functions in here. There's uh, a bunch of different options, uh, gate frequencies, level reduction, gate threshold, attack delay. Uh, so I think this one is going to be a, a good one for a lot of people. I think this noise gate is going to be pretty cool. A new effect has been added to the spectral editing effects, spectral delete. Um, nah, I don't know about that uh, for me. Uh, there's now a way to search the user manual in there, which is kind of nice. And like I said, there's over a hundred bugs fixed. So uh, ex equalization effects have no Im uh, effect on import or export. Graphic EQ sliders had no frequency labels. I mean, just tons and tons of additions or bug fixes. 
and some of these really cool new features. Now make sure you go to the correct site to download Audacity. There are, a, there's a bunch of crazy sites out there that will claim that they're their official site of Audacity, but it's audacityteam.org. So go there and make sure you download the authentic version of Audacity so you're not getting any viruses or Trojans or malware or anything. It's audacityteam.org. I'll put a link in the description below. So make sure you get the correct version and it's 2.4.0. I'm very excited about this because I use Audacity quite a bit in my work. So I'm excited for this new version and if you use it, you should be too, especially if you use Catalina, which I've been on since the early beta. So this has been a pain in the butt for me to not have Audacity work seamlessly. I, I, I was able to get it to work through a workaround, but it was just hokey and now it's just going to work. So I'm very excited about that. So thanks for watching everybody. We've got a bunch of cool new videos coming up. Like, share, and subscribe. Pass it on to your friends. Let people know about Filmmaker Central. Join us on Facebook at Filmmaker Central, where we talk about all kinds of stuff and we have videos and things from a lot of other creators helping to share their knowledge with everybody out there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.